going on guys we are in the everglade behind me is the uh, tamiami trail canal so we're going to be fishing this thing today i love fishing the everglades this time of year it is late may which is or really middle may which really is the height of the dry season and what happens is uh in the summer and in the fall it rains a ton so the water levels rise up but then in the winter and especially now in the spring it hasn't rained or at least rained hard in a very long time so the water levels drop in the Everglades, so all the fish, especially some of the bigger fish, they get pushed into these deeper canals. So I've had a lot of success here around this time of year, April, May, because the water level drops so much that all the fish just kind of, they get stuck in these bigger, deeper canals. So we're going to be fishing this thing today. The goal is some large mouth peacock and some bowfin. I would like to get some bowfin. That's a fish that I don't catch a lot that I think is a really, really cool looking fish. Uh, so we'll try to fish for those. If we have a really hard time, we'll scale down and we'll fish with some panfish. But let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. All right, so I filmed a lot of videos here, most recently, I believe, in January. And back in January, kind of where I'm standing right now, uh, the water level was up to here. So you can see just how much it has fallen in the last five months. And this is about as low as it's going to get. So I can actually go pretty far down here. Don't want to go all the way by the water because there are some gators in here. But we're going to be going with the uh, Nico Tadpole 1 8 ounce jig head. I sized up the gear I'm going to be using just a little bit today. This is uh, my medium power St. Croix Victory, it's on 10 pound test. Normally when I throw this lure, some smaller lures like this, I fish it on a medium light with some six pound test. But bigger fish, more snags. I lost a lot of, lot of these lures in my last trip. So we're gonna scale it, uh, scale it up a bit today. Had a little bite right there. Let's see if that fish is still there. The water is super, super deep, even right here close to shore, right under all these grasses. Oh, there we go, fish on. What do we got? Oh, is that a peacock? Let's pull this guy on in here. First fish of the day. All right, unfortunately, this guy got a little breaded in some dead grasses. But first fish of the day here in under five minutes, so not a bad start. Let's keep going. Oh, fish on. Another one, what is it? Oh, another peacock. This one feels a little bit bigger. Uh, maybe a little bit, not by much. Oh, nice male, look at this hump. All right, this area is super sandy, so these guys are getting a little dirty, but look at that hump. Nice male peacock. Let's drop that guy back. And it has been a great start so far. Fish on. Oh, it's a Mayan. Ah, uh, this guy's pulling well. Better than those peacocks do. Uh, nice fish. Let's get this guy on up here. First mine of the day. He engulfed this little tadpole. Look at that. All right, fish number three is not a big one, but it is a nice mine cichlid. I fought better than both those peacocks. So these guys, not my favorite fish, but they are a blast to fight. So let's drop that guy back and let's get back at it. Oh, fish on. Another peacock. Again, he came right from under this pile of grasses to hit this thing. Oh, let's see if I can pull him on over there. Yeah, there we go. Another peacock. 
All righty, peacock number three. These guys have so much fight in them. Another nice one, nothing huge, but about the size we've been getting them all day. Let's get that guy back in there and let's keep going. Here we go, fish on. What is this? Smaller, a ah, little baby Mayan. Look at this guy. Oh, he's stuck. Look at this guy. Can't, can't believe he went for that tadpole. All right, smallest fish of the day, little juvenile Mayan. Looks like something got to him right there. Has a little thingy, but we'll drop that guy back and let's get back to it. That thing came up to smack it. What is that? I think it's a peacock. Yeah, another peacock. Alrighty, peacock number four. I think it's the smallest one of the day, but this guy came up and hit that lure right as, as I was about to pull it out of the water. So good action with the peacock so far. Just missed a bite right there. Let's get it out to the same spot. Let's see if we can get that guy to strike one more time. Oh, there we go. Got him. Peacock again. None of these are big, but they're decent. Alrighty, another decent sized peacock. Well, actually, when I say decent, I mean all these guys have been fairly small. No, not much size on them, but. Action is action. Let's try to get another. Fish on. Feels like another nice one, or at least an okay one. He's pulling well, but he's under all these grasses. Another peacock. Slightly bigger than a lot of the other ones, but not by much. <sighs> right, so this is not a big peacock, but probably bigger than most of the other ones we've caught today, and it's a nice male, nice hump on that guy. So the peacock action today has been very nice. Here we go, fish on. Smaller guy, looks like a Mayan. Right? Oh no, Oscar. First Oscar of the day. All right, so first Oscar of the day. Love the red spot right there on the tail. I think it looks really, really nice, especially when these guys are a little bit darker. But a South American cichlid species that has been around here for a while, not as widespread as the Mayans. So anything a little bit different I like. So first Oscar of the day, I will take it. Fish on, little guy, little Mayan. Third one of these for the day. Alrighty, third Mayan cichlid of the day. My least favorite of the fish we've caught today. Let's get that guy back and let's keep fishing. It has been a great day of action so far. Fish on. Oh, what is, oh, what is this? A warm mouth. Nice. All right, so this is the first native fish that we caught today. A beautiful warm mouth sunfish, Lepomus genus, just like the bluegills and pumpkin seeds and all those other guys. It is a beautiful fish. This one's really dark in color. 
I had some bites from some other what looked like small sunfish, just couldn't hook up with them. So I mean, that warm mouth, they're called warm mouths because they, they got pretty big mouths on them. So I guess that was the first guy that was able to get the tadpole in its mouth. Fish on. Oh, feels like a good one. Feels like a good one. Uh, what is it though? What is that? Oh, another Oscar. These guys fight pretty well too. Another nice Oscar. Like I said earlier, love that red dot on the tail. It adds such a nice accent to these fish. But nice Oscar, put up a nice fight. Let's get him back in there. And let's keep going. The action is great today. What is that? Something, again, just hit as I was pulling, it's just another peacock. That scared me. All right, another peacock. We got a bunch of these little guys. I was literally just about to pull my jig over, over these grasses so I can make another cast. And this guy came up and ambushed it on the top. So yeah, great action with the peacocks. So we got another gar right here. There's tons of gars in this canal and they surface pretty regularly. I don't know why, either to breathe or something. He hit it. Let's set the hook. Let's see if we can get our first gar here. Is he, oh no, he's off. That's what I mean. It's easy to get gars to bite. It is very hard to hook them and then to land them because they got some really, really bony mounts on them. But this canal is absolutely full of them. Fish on. That's a Mayan. Ah. Come on up here. Nice size Mayan. And we got ourselves another Mayan cichlid. Great fight. Not my favorite fish to catch. But I can't say enough about the action today. Love fishing the Everglades this time of year. There's tons and tons of fish everywhere. Fish on, little guy, or at least littler. Is it a Mayan? Yeah, mine, not that little. All right, little Mayan cichlid. Tons of these guys out here too, but let's get that guy back. That might do it, I don't know. We'll see what else we can get, but mines and peacocks, not much variety today. Jaguar cichlid, sweet. All right, I think this is the fourth different cichlid species we've caught today. This is a jaguar cichlid. They look, they look pretty cool, also not as widespread as Mayans, but I've caught plenty of them, so nothing really too special. And now that might do it. I don't think we're gonna get anything else, and plus it is really hot out here. So I'll be back with a quick wrap up. That's gonna do it. It was a hot one out here in a little bit under two hours. We got all these fish, but I am dehydrated. The victory rod came through again, super, super sensitive. The Nico tadpole, absolute killer today on the peacocks and the cichlids. This is the same soft plastic I started with, and it is absolutely flawless, just like it came out of the pack. Uh, a few days ago, I got a comment on one of my videos. Someone saying they were looking at buying the uh, Nico Helgramites, but they couldn't justify the price for these kind of soft plastics. But these aren't like regular soft plastics. These last forever. I mean, granted, peacocks and these cichlids, they don't have monster teeth, but usually, if I use other soft plastics after a few fish, even sometimes after one fish, one peacock, I got replaced the plastic with. This thing is just like it was straight out of the pack two hours ago when I caught all these fish on it. So it is a great little lure. Love fishing the Everglades, especially these canals this time of year. The water level drops, all the fish get stacked in these kind of smaller concentrated areas. Super easy to get on them. 
Unfortunately, we only got one native fish, that warm mouth. I saw a couple other sunfish, saw one large mouth, a couple of those gar I had bites from, but I mean, this is South Florida. The non-natives have kind of taken over here, but still great day on the water. Hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.